Hey everyone, we're in Sandpoint, Idaho. We stayed at the Best Western Edgewater last night. And today, super pretty out, sun's out, awesome bluebird day. We're gonna go check out Schweitzer. We've never been there. Uh, apparently it's the largest ski area in Washington or Idaho. So we'll go check it out and let you guys know what we think. We're headed to the ski hill, but we have to make one quick stop, as always. And hit the Starbucks. We just got up to Schweitzer. Amazing day. They have hella skiing which you guys just saw the helicopter fly by. Super pretty bluebird day. Mountain and lodging up behind us. And we got a killer parking spot right in the front, even though we're a little late. So definitely a win for the day, starting out. This is looking up from the Basin Express Quad, looking over at the Lakeview Triple. This is looking northwest, west, and south from the top of Lakeview Triple. There's only one blue run, which is Ridge Run, down from this lift, everything else is expert terrain. getting on the Great Escape Quad, which is gonna take you up to the top where the Sky House is located. This is the top of Great Escape Quad. You can see the Sky House just off to your right. The lodge has two stories. The first floor is bathrooms and ski patrol offices. And upstairs, there's two different food options, a cafeteria option, and then where you can go in and sit down and eat if you'd like. They have a great view and awesome tables to sit at. This is the view from just outside the Sky House, looking down at Lake Pondere.
This is getting on the Snow Ghost double to go back up on the north side of the Sky House. This is a unique lift. They have a midway unload point where you can get off or if you want to stay on and go to the top, you just stay on the chair. And here's the top of the Snow Ghost double lift. The Sky House is off to your left. I couldn't quite get it on the camera, but the Outback Inn is located at the bottom of the Outback Bowl, right next to the Stella Six Pack. They have fires outside to warm up at and food inside. Then we'll go into the Stella Six Pack. Super cool entry into a lift. I've never seen anything like this. It was really neat. the top of the Stella six pack where you can get off the lift and either go back to the front side or access the Outback Bowl again. Here we're at the bottom of the Stella six pack again. It's the only six-seat chairlift in Idaho State. All right, everyone, we're home now. It was a very long, icy drive home, but we made it. I wanted to give my two cents on the mountain so I can upload this video. Overall, we thought it was great. Definitely one of the better mountains in Washington, Idaho. Uh, even a great comparison to ski hills in Montana. So let's start at the beginner hill. I talked to Tammy. She said she really liked the beginner area one of the better ones of all the ski hills we've been to. And she liked that it had the carpet for new people to skiing. And then the chairlift that was down there, the whole area is secluded if you look at the map, it's at the very base of the mountain. And it goes down past the base and there's a chair that brings you back up. She said it was a good long run and there's actually two runs. She said there was a small terrain park for kids in there to learn on that she said was really cool. She said she liked that you got to practice your turns and go down a long run before you had to get on the lift and come back up where at most ski areas you go down a carpet or a, a small platter pull or even a lot of the lifts are short so you don't really get a practice before you have to get back on the lift. I tried to ski all over the mountain and give a good review on the whole thing. Uh, all the way from the very south part of the mountain to the back side, the south, or the, sorry, the north bowl. It was all great. The ski conditions were a little bit icy. It's been really cold there. It hadn't snowed in a week. So it was that really cold, uh, kind of icy conditions, which isn't the ski hill's fault. The hill was amazing. Great, we'll definitely be back. They had a lot of great expert terrain. Uh, the lodge at the top is really cool. Overall, we really liked it, and it's definitely a place that we'll go back to. Great skiing for every skill level. So, good job, Schweitzer. Sorry about the uh, GoPro footage. It was mounted on my helmet wrong. I, I got a new helmet last year, and I just put the mount on before we went this time. So, we're going to clean that up a little bit, and uh, hopefully on the next one it'll be better. 
as always, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Leave us any comments in the comments if you want to see anything else about other ski areas.